We're over at the Esprit booth and we're with Christy Van Cleve and Lori Craig and they're going to give us a little creative demo. So Esprit now has Bark Art. Yes, a beautiful new product, Bark Art, and these are the blow pens. Um, 12 colors and they're also going to start coming out with the six pack of single colors for us crazy creative groomers that, you know, we just can't get enough of one solid color. So we get a full six pack of one color. Very exciting. Yes. And I'll uh, do a quick demo and she can talk through it. So. Okay. So what kind of design are you going to do? I'm just going to cuff the feet because of course I forgot my comb and my scissors and all the good stuff. So I'm just going to show how easy it is to cuff the feet. Okay. The blow pins are really unique, and um, besides being made here in America, which is really, really nice, the blow pins are direct blow. They're not made to cover a large area. They're made to cover directly right where you want them, so there's not a lot of splatter. And um, also, it's a multiple use, so you can cap it tightly and reuse it. Also good for stencils and doing a lot of detail work. In creative grooming, a lot of the blow pins are used for highlighting and giving a three-dimensional look. So this way you can do a lot of highlights and get the blow pin to go exactly where you want it to go instead of a big general splatter. That looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it does wash out fairly well. Also, Esprit came out with nail pins uh, for nail art. So, uh, nail pins dry extremely fast, and you can do just that for nail art. So, you can do fine lines, and um, if you're very, very creative, like which Lori is, and I'm not, she is, has a very creative mind, and um, she does fancy work. And I can just do blobs and little polka dots or stripes, which is easier work. But you can create French manicures, you can do designs, flowers, all kinds of things. And it is very, very quick dry, which is really, really nice. And the tips of these are made a lot thicker. So a lot of times some of the brushes, whenever you push them down, it frayed at the ends, but these are really thick so you, they don't break up on you. That's good to know. So did you have a hand in making the nail polish pens and the uh, blow pens, Lori? Of course. Okay. Well, the, the nail pens, I, I tried telling them about the tip, so I would guess so. And of course, blow pens. Come on. We need more color out there. I am so happy you were involved. <laughs> Add a little heart. You can see how quickly that they do dry. And you just color it in. And you have a cute little paw with a heart on it. Very cute. Okay, there we go. Fun stuff, but yeah, um, it's another thing is they've also come out with these awesome new stencils. The thing about being a groomer and a creative groomer is whenever you're trying to actually uh, apply a stencil product on your dog, you need both hands to do it because dogs are going to wiggle, the door's going to chime, the phone's going to ring, you're going to have to move. This way when you blow you can get just where you want it to go, easy, and pull it straight off. And it is reusable so you can put the back right back on the stencil, fold it up and use it again for next time. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing your creativity and knowledge. Yes. <laughs>